affect anything that will affect our community because of the side effects. And I'm saying it in English again. The father of this guy, Mubad, called me. I don't know the time. I don't know that, I don't know that this, is what, this is what is going to happen. Called me at night, telling me that Mubad is dead. I felt so bad. I felt so sorry because I didn't know that boy. It's only the father that I knew. I don't, I've never met him before. I know that he's very, very charitable. He's giving money. When he gave his father card, the father celebrated it. I don't know him. I don't feel praying for him. Now, suddenly, the father said that they are bringing him to bury. They, they are bringing him. They want to bury him at that night. That as you ascend, as you get um, chauffeurs, diggers, in order to bury him. And I said that this is not possible, man. It's not possible. Don't do that. I'm a community leader. How can you come and say that you want to bury your, your son at that time? I, I called him about two times. I said, you are bringing him. Immediately, I saw some community members. They brought, one brought chauffeur, one brought jigger, a woman and a man. I said, what? This is from this lover page. He says, progress so far. Mobad father has been interrogated. His wife has been interrogated. The mother has been interrogated. The mother has been interrogated. Few friends has gone to drop their statements too. We are still expecting more people to turn their self in. But seeing this video circulating this morning again, I want to please with the Nigerian police force to do a rerun on the investigation. Why did Mobat father want to bury him at night? when no one is present why such in a hurry also also the nurse that injected mobad is nowhere to be found the boy who cried in the bus is said to be his brother the boy is yet to turn himself into the best friend he had a fight with has not turned himself in yet and lastly sam larry and nara malin have not turned their self have in. not turned their self in when Sherry Kuti slapped a policeman, the police force was very active in arresting him and searching his house. When Trinity, the prank master, messed up the police, didn't waste time or spare him either. So why is Naira and Sam Larry not getting same treatment? Soro Suke, Nigerian police force, take mic and speak up. Between our weekend, we should be done. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Now our weekend. Now our weekend. And autopsy will be done. Yeah. yeah. Autopsy will be done. Autopsy will be done. Autopsy will be done. And autopsy. When is done? How long does it take? Important information for those asking if they have exhumed him. This is what the police decided on again. Oh, let's all calm down till Sunday. And if by then nothing happens, then they gonna see crazy. For now, let's leave them to do the autopsy before them go lie. Say now nah, we no give them space to do things unfold. Our focus now should be on people turning into right statements as evidence so we can get the justice we want. And also our focus should be on Naira and Sam Larry too. Why are they still running? Why is the government delaying to declare them wanted? These and many more we should focus on, but we give them till Sunday for the autopsy. Them won't do as now them use their mouth talk say we can. So we are waiting. These will not slide. We will not back down. This is investigation that, that will not really elicit them coming to the police because they are afraid. Or probably some uh, 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 plain clothes men can visit them so that we can move swiftly. I want to cut into what he has said. Thank you so much, Mary. Good afternoon once again. Um, based on what he has said, I have had a lot of young ones, most especially in the music industry, the young upcoming ones. And they have kept accusing Sam and Sam Larry. Sam, Sam Larry. Sam Larry. Yeah, they are accusing. That's what I'm saying. I'm not the one accusing you. They, they call me, they tell me. He's, he has harassed them, he has bullied them, he has um, collected the money from them forcefully. Chains. 
and some of them have posted the videos online. There are not videos online about this. It's not like we are just saying what we don't know. It's there, and these people, some of them, at least they are still alive. It's only mobile that is late now, but at least when mobile did his video, he was alive. So it's also an evidence, right? So, sir, these children, what they tell me, or these young ones, they like if we come as now some the, the little evidence that are out there. Some lad has not been brought in for questioning. So how how safe can they be when they now come and give their own evidence? What is the assurance when Mobad is dead with all these videos that has been um, trending on social media about Sam Larry, Sam Larry, Sam Larry, even some videos that we saw where Sam Larry came when Zlatan and um, Mobad were having a discussion this year. And he has been, he, we don't know if he's already been questioned or is he the right authorities. Because if he's been questioned, then this young one can have the courage to want to say, okay, this man that is bullying us, because as far as they are concerned, and I am concerned, it's my observation, he's a bully. He has been bullying these young ones, and he's still out there or somewhere. Because we saw a video of some of his boys that came and said they are his boys, nothing is going to happen, they will do this and do that. He was sending out trade. And we need to understand that these young ones that are complaining, they are still teenagers. They cannot be bold and strong like we, their mothers or fathers that are here seated today, fighting on their behalf. So we need you, sir, to use your good officer. To let them know, the public know, because there's a lot of them, uh, there are a lot of them out there that really want justice. And we need to make the environment safe for our young ones. We call them the leaders of tomorrow, sir. And if they are not safe, that all of them, that's why most of them, apart from the hardship going on in the country, the Jackpa syndrome is also part of the fact that they don't feel safe in their own country, sir. If we can help them get this man who they claim is a thief, and do a proper investigation so that these young ones can have the courage to come on board and lay their claims. And some of them have evidence because most times they record. You know, young ones have a way of recording all these incidents and they can put it on board so that he can be brought to justice. This is truly he is found guilty. So that he can serve an example for other ones out there who want to be bullying these children, harassing them, you know, and spreading this fear into these young children. Because music in our society today has really put Nigeria on Ghana. And we would not like some few sets of people to come and destroy that for us, sir. That's one thing, sir. Another thing is that, for me, I got an information about a young boy who was also under Naramali's um, record. And um, I found out that he had mental health. His mother came to cry out to a certain uh, club called Chisnova, and I got that information through my DM that I should please help visit this boy, which I did. I made a video. What we posted on social media, the live, the video was already half, the interview was already half done. And I had my reasons for not starting live with the interviews, because I wanted to keep some information private. The videos are with me. I'm going to be giving it to you, sir, so that you can listen to it. I will appreciate it took a lot of effort for us to get this boy to even come out. The mother really wanted him to come out because she's also suffering from hypertension. She's afraid that she might die anytime. Or if this problem is not solved, and who will now look after this boy who has mental health issues now? And who was who is one of our strong? I'm sorry. <laughs> so sad, please. I would like this boy to be brought in, interviewed, questioned, find out what exactly is going on with him, whatever transpired between him and um, Naramali, you know, and um, we are trying on our own part, the NGOs and a lot of our fans out there are really supporting the guy, they'll be sending money to him so that he can get treatment, we've made arrangements for that, he's already getting treatment as we speak, he's getting treatment already. But they are also very, they are still afraid. We don't know why, we don't know what must have transpired for them to be so much afraid. But I gave him, I gave them so much confidence that I still believe they need to be sad. And I told them, I said, nothing will happen to you. Because I know you will protect him and he will get the right treatment. Because he's a young boy that is just trying to survive, sir. And there's a lot of them out there 
But I'm going through the same. I am stressed. Yes, sir. So please, sir. And just, sir. Nobody's gone already. It's a pity. I had that opportunity to be with him in the two times, but unfortunately, he didn't tell us much. I didn't know much. But at least this DJ Splash, right? He's still very much alive. And we need you to please help save this boy's life and find out. And whoever it is that is truly behind what he's going to be brought to book so that other young ones can, can have the courage when they're going to search to run to new people and say, oh, please help us. And we need maybe like he said an online platform that they know that when they go to they can send information or send a phone number or something to you know i know officer benjamin is on social media and he's one of the people they always want to tag you know to send information to but sometimes these informations are written out there they don't know who is seeing it and who is going back to trusting them so if they can get like you know an email or you know a website that they can go to maybe their complete and there's fast response you know, it will also help these young ones to to be able to come out whenever there's a problem and to stay to their problems. So that's it for me. Okay. Okay. Um, for all for talk about the uh, um, my my point is what the lawyer has said he has actually some things for this But there are some salient questions and some salient positions where we, we, the people that are asking for justice for Mubad, are asking. We know that, as we say, as we heard, that they want to exhume the cops of the Mubad. Um, we would like to know how soon that will be. We might not be able to know when because of security or whatever reason, but we would like to know how soon that is going to be. And also, we would like to know um, how soon the autopsy report and every other thing will be. And also, a lot of times, the, 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 the chemistry between the police force and the public is still streamlined to a large extent. A lot of times, it, 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 communication solves a lot of problems. There's still a gap between the, the Nigerian police and, and the, 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 the public. The truth of the matter is, just as we have as we have bad eggs in the society, we also have bad eggs in the force as well. But we believe that it is not everybody that is actually negative. There are still some people that are upright and stand for the right thing, which is why we believe that um, this, this, um, this, what the court we're fighting for, if it is well treated and urgently treated, and we get justice. The, the, the need for the Nigerian police force would increase in the minds of the public. This is a, an avenue for, for the force to prove to us that justice can still, still be gotten. Anyhow, that is one. So, we are also seeking. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Yes. 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 Yes.